Today, we're back with another video, but this time, it's a big sports card mail day. So many people to thank, and know that, like, like you said, this is, this is only the beginning. Welcome back to Card Talk, thousands of people. Collections, card shops, and collectors, 47.5, you're, you're good to go. All right, come in. <laughs> a lot of time ahead and a lot of opportunity to, to, to make this place special every day, so. All right, what's going on YouTube? Card Collector 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And today we're back with another video and this time it's going to be another mail day. So this is probably gonna be our fourth or fifth mail day of the year. And I think this one will be fun as I'm gonna talk about a set that I'm gonna be working on here relatively soon. I got a lot I purchased off of Twitter a couple IG purchases and more. So let's get right into it because I see a bunch of big boxes, including this one, uh, which I think is something I purchased off of Twitter. A relatively random lot, but one I thought was actually pretty cool. So a guy was just looking to move a lot of stuff and had a bunch of randomness. So I think this will uh, this will be pretty cool. All right, so right off the rip, you can see a Vlad, look at Vlad Senior jersey. All right, big box here. Uh, looks like Vlad Sr. signed jersey with a JSA authentication. Don't buy a ton of memorabilia online anymore. A lot of it comes in shop. Uh, so, it was in a deal and he's like, hey, I'll toss this in for a pretty fair price. And I was like, yeah, sure. We give away a lot of memorabilia on Whatnot Streams. We also sell a lot on there and have a bunch of it in shop. So, I was like, I can definitely do something with it. So, picked that up. And then there were some cards. I'll show you guys what else was in here. Alright, this appears to be everything. Alright, so quite a few different... Uh, this was the first thing I actually found that he had for sale, and I bought this. So there's five different Terry Bradshaw relics. That's at a $199. Uh, another at a $199, so a couple there. Uh, more Spectra. This one is $22 of $99. Uh, out of 75, Spectra Championship gear. It's kind of cool. And then a gold standard jersey at a 199. The original TB12. Uh, again, Steeler stuff sells well locally. So a lot of those will likely end up in our retail store. Uh, and then another one he ended up finding. And uh, we worked out a price on this. But it was a triple patch out of 55. Looks like this would be a perfect spot for an auto. I always hate it when they do that. When it's like cool looking card. And you're like, man, that an auto would fit perfectly right there on card. Beautiful black ink, match the jersey, but nah, maybe one day. Uh, and then, looks like this was a throw in, just a small thank you, Gary. Yes, appreciate that, Gary. Johnny Dixon, one of the nicest Buckeyes I've ever uh, had the chance to talk to. Really good guy. Uh, JD Contenders, and then this was a WWE lot. So again, I don't know as much about WWE, but man, we, uh, we definitely get asked for it a lot. I've talked about it before, but there's uh, the folks that collect WWE, like they're like real collectors, like truly, truly into WWE. I know a couple people personally that are local that love it, and it is uh, it is definitely a real passion. So when we see it, we try to pick it up. Uh, John Cena out of 49. Jimmy Hart Auto, it's a sticker, but still 199. Uh, Santos Escobar, 15 of 49 Auto. Uh, the Miz Relic. Uh, Jimmy Hart Blue out of 199. Alba Fire, don't know much about her. Auto uh, Edge Relic, this is pretty cool. Zoe Stark uh, shirt piece out of 30. I think some of the patches like this uh, from Immaculate are really really cool. There's some really really cool designs. If you have not seen those, uh, there's I'll see if they can drop some down below. But there's some really cool patches for those. And then a gold Finn Baylor. Uh, 7 of 10. So, not a bad lot. Wasn't super expensive, and obviously got the Vlad with it too. So, kind of a cool lot there. Alright, then we got this. I have no idea what this is. Looks like it's a pretty good sized lot too. I and mean, there's, there's definitely some weight on this. It actually looks like more WWE. Looks like more WWE. Again, we buy so much online, like I honestly don't remember buying every single lot we get. I tell you guys that before in the mail days. So this doesn't look super familiar. 
but I'll just have to go through and check our incoming list. So here's some cool stuff. I see a Roman Reigns green. That's always cool. He sells really well. Oh, I think I know what this is. This has like a finest gold or orange Seth Rollins auto. Oh, red. That's what it is. Yeah, I do remember this. This has some cool stuff in it. Again, I'm not the WWE guy. I'm not going to try to be. I definitely don't know uh, a ton, a ton about it. I know the big names. Again, I just talked about like... When we get it, people definitely want it. But let me show you some of uh, what's in this lot. It's kind of cool. Sasha Banks out of 99. Uh, Keith Lee. Adam Schur, Shear. Dawkins. Uh, Drew, Drew Golick. Uh, Ro Robert Rode. I'm not going to pretend to know all of these guys, so I'm going to flip through them. Some of them I recognize. Uh, Edge. Again, a bunch of different ones here. This is just one of those deals. Dolph Ziggler. Uh, Kobe Kingston, Kobe Kingston again, This, The Miz, Auto. This is one of those deals that it was just a price per card that made sense. Ray Ripley, uh, Riddle, Gold, Ford, Gold, Zack Ryder, Gold, Brett Hitman, Hart, Auto with the inscription. That's kind of cool. Bianca Belair. All right, now here's some of the better stuff. Uh, Roman Reigns out of five, Sasha Banks out of 50, uh, Charlotte Flair out of 50, The Miz out of 50, Ric Flair out of 50, uh, I think these, the Timers Club, the Five Timers Club, I think those do all right. Uh, Heartbreak Kid out of 50, good old HBK. Shawn Michaels out of 25. Uh, Bianca Belair out of 50. Braun Breaker, uh, Flash Auto, that's from Retail, I believe. Uh, Dusty Rhodes White Sparkle, Hitman Heart Blue Auto out of 49. Seth Rollins Auto out of 5. Uh, and then some thicker cards, Dominic Mysterio, Ash Carter. So... Again, I'm not going to pretend to be an expert, but it does have some cool stuff in it. All right, moving on to some of these uh, bubble mailers. I hope some of these are what I think they are. So I can talk about this set. I'm going to start working on it. All right, let's see what this could be. All right, here it is. Perfect. Uh, so I've started picking up a couple of these. Um, I think I need most of the big ones still, honestly. I don't think I have any of them. I think I have Joe Thomas. But again, I've talked about it a million times on mail day videos and box breaks, throwbacks, shows. Uh, 06 is the first year I got into cards, like really hardcore into cards. I like obviously had experience in like 02, 03 with Donnie Nicky stuff, and I've talked about those before. But 06 was the year I got in. Reggie Bush, Matt Leiner, Vince Young, AJ Hawk, etc. 07 was really like the class I've collected off and on. Like Not necessarily off and on, but just I've picked up here and there when I see their stuff. Just because it was such a big time in like my journey, uh, Calvin Johnson, Marshawn Lynch, Adrian Peterson, Joe Thomas, Darrell Rivas, and then a bunch of Buckeyes or local guys like Brady Quinn uh, played for the Browns, Notre Dame guy, Ohio State played them in like the Fiesta Bowl. Um, Brady Quinn's sister was dating AJ Hawk or vice versa. I forget. Um, Brady Quinn grew up 15 minutes from where I did. Uh, so there was also Ted Ginn. Uh, Anthony Gonzalez, Troy Smith, and Tony Pittman, so four Buckeyes. Uh, it was just a big time for me in cards, and I thought, what better set to put together than probably the best rookie patch auto set that those guys have uh, from Exquisite. So I have the Joe Thomas, so I'm going to try to put this set together. Most of them aren't very expensive. Darrell Rivas doesn't have an RPA, and I have his base auto. Um, Joe Thomas, I have. Marshawn, Calvin, and uh, AP will be the most expensive. Um, problem is, is, a lot of these are faked back in the day, so got to be cautious because obviously the patch window made it super easy to fake a lot of these. So there's quite a few fakes. Um, so again, trying to be cautious. I don't want to obviously buy a fake one, but I thought this would be a fun set to kind of put together and just, I, I again, I collect cards. I obviously have a business in this, but I love collecting cards and I think it's cool to look back and collect some of the cards that, you know, I could have, I couldn't have afforded when I was a kid. I like, you know, I think that's, the full circle moment in cards just to be able to, you know, buy some of those cards later and really uh, collect what you couldn't as a kid. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that. So there's a Dwayne Jarrett wide receiver from USC. I'll probably put some of the other sets together in time too. Uh, other year exquisites or contenders, SP authentic, always pick them up. Like if you watch the videos, you'll, you'll, you'll have seen them a million times. 06, 07, 08, 09. I pick up a bunch of that stuff. This might be another one. Uh, yeah, here you go. Johnny Lee Higgins uh, at a 225 RPA. That's crazy. One of those uh, 
Al Davis draft wide receivers. That was probably super, super fast. I remember Darius Hayward Bay in 09 when the Raiders took him because he was, like, lightning fast. Um, but, again, that's probably what some of these are. This looks like it might be a different purchase than eBay. Let me see what this is. Oh, yeah, super cool. Forgot about this. Shout out to my guy, uh, Eric. It's like hit and run sports cards. Uh, I met him at Chantilly. Known him for a little while in cards. Really good guy. I think they have a shop as well. Uh, but a Marvin Harrison Jr. one of one. Uh, this is True Creator. So this is actually the set that Pac-Man is in. A lot of other creators. But this is Marvin Harrison's uh, first set he's ever been. He's in this and he's in like, um, what's the other one? It's not like a Leaf product. It's not Wild Card. It's like not the Panini Tops Leaf Wild Card. Stuff like that. He's in kind of that next tier. Um, but this is the best receiver in America. This is likely a top five pick next year. This kid's the real deal. I've gone to a lot of, you guys know, right? Like, I have it on. Ohio State is my bread and butter. Uh, I care about it a lot. I really, really love Ohio State football. And I can tell you, this dude is the real deal. We've had Olave, we've had Garrett Wilson, we've had Jackson. Uh, you have this kid next year, you have Emeka Abuka getting drafted. Uh, those guys are studs. This dude is, like, the real deal. His dad's obviously a Hall of Famer. But a one on one rookie auto of one of his first cards definitely will be a guy I pick up of uh, pick up stuff of down the road. So super super excited for this and give me a super good deal. So shout out to Eric. Make sure y'all check him out. All right, got another box here. Like I said it was a big mail day, so big with boxes. Shout out to those of you that made it this far. All right, why we are uh, looks like we're over ten minutes in at this point. Uh, obviously, some of it will be edited, so I might be off, but shout out to those of you that are still watching the mail days. Really do appreciate those of you that, I know these are not necessarily the most exciting, but I do appreciate those of you that have uh, made it this far in the video and continue to support the channel. So let's do this. Uh, if you made it this far, drop a comment. I'll, uh, we just got some brand new hoodies in, some brand new, uh, brand new hoodies in from our guys over at From the Ashes Embroidery. Uh, you know, Mark and the team always uh, getting us some some fresh stuff. So, let me know your favorite pickup uh, at this at the end of the video. Drop a comment down below with your favorite pickup of the video. It could be anything so far. It could be something still coming. Uh, drop a favorite pickup uh, in your size hoodie, and I will uh, I'll have Brian uh, pick a winner or two, and we'll send you some free uh, card collector two uh, merch. So, totally don't have to, but if you don't mind. Make sure you're a subscriber. Leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it, and then drop a comment down below with your favorite pickup, and we'll uh, we'll get some uh, some hoodies sent out. So this deal, I uh, picked this up from my guy Keith online. Always finding random uh, retail. So Mosaic, actually a pretty good seller for us. Like I know uh, if you guys haven't watched the video, we did a video recently uh, with Prism Football Blasters, just kind of seeing, hey, would you rather rip a case of Prism Football Blasters? Or would you rather have a hobby box and 150 bucks? Um, we had some cool stuff, but one of the things I talked about in the video was how mosaic retail, you can hit short prints like stained glass, like we hit a Kenny Pickett, uh, we had a Kyler Murray. Um, you can also hit Razzle Dazzles, you can hit uh, Genesis, you can hit real short print parallels, whereas in Prism, you can't. I'm just going to take these out of the top loaders because the top loaders are smoked. Um, so we talked about that. So Mosaic's actually been a pretty good seller because of that, because of the fact that you can hit, uh, actual decent stuff, not just like color, just generic retail, red, red and blue, greens, light blues, silvers, stuff like that. All right. I'm going to take this out of here. I'm going to show you guys this a lot. This is a, Keith and I have done deals quite a few times. It's a lot of like typically like cool local stuff. It's not like break the bank worthy. Uh, and then typically some off one or two retail products. Almost cut myself there. All right, there's my guy, Scary Terry. All right, so this lot had the two mosaic blasters, uh, but it also had these. So Scary Terry, Joey B, easiest sell for us. Garrett Wilson, more Joe Burrow. I think this is the variation of fields. So again, if you ever want to tell uh, for 2021 Prism, flip it over in the back. It says V in the number, so V334, Justin Fields. Uh, Fields, Jamar Chase, 25 of 25, very uh, NFL debut, silver, mosaic, 
T-Law, again, one of our better sellers. Jordan Love actually sells surprisingly well. So three cards there. So it wasn't very expensive. Uh, you got these and then the two blasters. So again, always buying random stuff. This is super light. I have no idea what this is. Big box, but definitely light. Great packaging. Oh, there's a note too. Uh, what's going on, Ryan? I really just wanted to thank you. It is awesome to see your journey through all of this, to see where you have come, and this is only the beginning uh, for y'all, and y'all know that. If you are ever in Austin, let's hit the golf course. I do love to golf. Uh, hoping you're having a great start to your week. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, or thanks, Ryan. Moses. This is from Mo City on eBay. Uh, gave me his number. It's not like he has an IG. Shout out to Moses if you're watching this, though. Great packaging. No idea what this is. Superior packaging. A plus. Oh, I bought this on eBay. on eBay, it's weird he knew it was me. Huh. Should be numbered. Yeah. But I don't know if this is the one I bought. I thought I bought one out of 75. Maybe it was this one. So this is actually not part of the set I'm doing. This is actually the next year. This is 2008 exquisite. Uh, so CJ2K, one of the first guys I remember buying and flipping and making money on. Uh, cool story about Chris Johnson. I've talked about this on Car Talk before. Uh, but Chris Johnson, when he was a, when he first came out, one of the first products released that he had a pro uniform in uh, was Rookies and Stars. So Chris Johnson has, I bought him before, I bought a Peterson, uh, I got a Ted Ginn at the National, uh, but the Rookies and Stars ones had the manufactured logos, so you could get like a Titans logo, or you could get Eastern Carolina, where Chris Johnson went to school. And one of the cool things was Chris Johnson actually had full signatures, so you got this little CJ thing, that wasn't how he signed everything. Some of his early stuff has full Chris Johnson. And if you look at his new stuff, his stuff from like 2021, 2022, because Panini started putting him back in products, he's got the full name now, but he didn't as a rookie. So most of his rookie stuff says CJ, but some of the Chris Johnson stuff from his rookie year had the full signature, and people didn't catch on to it early on, so there wasn't much of a price difference. But as stuff started to come out, Chris Johnson stuff started to, the, the full rookie stuff started to be harder to find and people caught on and it sold for more money. So he ran for a 424 at the combine. It was insanely fast. Uh, he only had Lendell White in front of him and it was like, hey man, this guy's going to be good. Bought some stuff, quite a bit of stuff for me back in the day. Uh, and he just, he took off and uh, dude was electric. One of my favorite players, obviously we share the last name. Uh, so I was a real big fan of Chris Johnson. So this is probably a sign that I'll end up doing the 08 set at some point, but 07 is my main focus at the moment. But I, I didn't pay more than $50 for this card, and that to me is like the coolest thing in the world. Uh, you know, Najee Harris, Contenders Autos, uh, we have a red zone. It does like 60, or con Contenders Optic Red Najee Harris out of 199 does like 65 or 75 bucks. This dude's awesome. Ran for 2,000 yards in a season. Najee Harris hopes he could run for 2,000 yards in a season. I'm buying this for 50 bucks before I'm buying that. And that's just kind of why I love collecting this kind of stuff is 14, 15, 16 year old Ryan would be stoked to have this looking back on it. So part of the part of the collecting journey. All right, we got a couple more here. Uh, this was sent to PO Box. Heck of a tape job. see what's in this one. Good packaging. This is how I love to package stuff. In a team bag with no tape, this is, this is, this is peak packaging. It's just the little things. Oh, I won these on eBay. I was like, what? There's no no. I won these on eBay. These got put up on bids. To the point now where I've collected Donnie so long and I think it's so known that I collect Donnie and somebody out there collects him. Uh, it's costing me more money, way more money, to buy Donnie Nicky stuff these days. Way more money. Um, I think I paid 
30 bucks, 25 bucks for both of these. I forget what it was, but it's, I, you know, collected Donnie Nikki for years and it was two, three, four dollars an auto. I mean, that's what most of them do. Um, but he had this one, he had the numbered one, so I tried to buy the number ones where I can, so I was like, I'll just buy this too, but two more for the PC. At some point, I should probably do an updated PC. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll see if he can come in and do a video one day. That's what I want to do the most. That's like kind of my goal. I've talked about that is like ripping a box, pulling a Donnie Nikki with Donnie Nikki. Um, so maybe one day, but we do have these picked up two of them. So add those to the PC. I've got to be pretty close at this point to nearly a hundred autos. All right. So this one was shipped to the shop. So I don't have any idea what this is. Oh, that's cool. So this is actually a feature. I'm going to give Whatnot some some credit. Uh, this is actually kind of cool. Uh, Whatnot's got this feature now. I haven't personally used it yet, uh, but it's called gifting. So what it allows you to do is it allows you to like send something to somebody else. Like you can buy a card and gift it to them, and it'll tell you like who to ship it to, and like it has their address. It's actually really really cool. Um, so basically I can get on there, I can be like, oh cool, I know your username, uh, I can, I can buy something and I can not even touch it and it'll just show up as a gift for you. So you'll, sh uh, I'll, sh the buyer will ship it to you. Um, so it's kind of a cool, cool little feature. Uh, real whatnot, team whatnot, great packaging. If whatnot's got these, I got to get my hands on some of these. These are, these are top notch. I would love to ship with these. So if whatnot's got those, I need to get those. Uh, this is from my guy, Aguirre. Uh, so Aguire96 actually sent me a care package the other day. I had opened it prior to a mail day, so that's that's my bad. Uh, but send me a package uh, with a nice note, some stuff for our, our, my wife is expecting. Really, really nice, thoughtful note. Um, so really, really do appreciate it. But uh, send me this cool uh, Gem Mint 10 Justin Fields. Love the red parallel. I think red's a retail parallel. Um, but obviously red's Ohio State's color, so a little parallel here of Justin Fields for the PC with a grade. Black Mama grading, I've never heard of them, but the card is definitely super cool. So definitely appreciate the gift. That was very, very kind. I, uh, I'm super appreciative of that, so thank you very much. So a couple cool, uh, I think that's everything. A couple cool Buckeye cards in. Uh, a couple a couple lots. We got the, the Donnie Necky, the Justin Fields, the Marvin Harris, and obviously the Ohio State stuff near and dear to my heart. Got a random lot with some like local stuff, some cheaper stuff, uh, like the Joe Burrows, the T-Laws, the Jamar Chase uh, with the Mosaic Blasters. Uh, did a little WWE this time again, trying to pick that up where we can have it. Uh, nothing break the bank, but offer, that's a whole point of our, our live sales, our, our card shop, our eBay page. That's that's what we, we try to do is uh, to try to offer a variety for people to pick from. Um, yeah, care package, notes, exquisite stuff the start of a start of a set chase so yeah a lot of a uh, lot of fun stuff in the mail a lot of stuff to look forward to here but again if you want a sweatshirt uh, you know the deal drop that in the video drop a comment down below we'll pick a couple winners but for now guys that's all i got peace guys